Why are you addicted to social media? Watching the champ over and over again. Trying to be like the champ? If you want to be like the champ, you have to join the champ in establishing the Scandinavian mega masjid and dawah center in Norway. Click the link and donate and share this tremendous reward for establishing the house of Allah. Tonight on Piers Morgan Uncensored, Israel at war, the uncensored debate. Mohammed Hijab is a Muslim philosopher, scholar and YouTuber whose first appearance on the show was viewed by more than 8 million people. Rabbi Shmuley Botiak has been called the most famous rabbi in America, he is the international best-selling author of Kosher Hate and The Israel Warrior. Both men are passionate, both men are influential and they both have vehemently opposing views. Tonight, they go uncensored and head to head. Good evening from London. Welcome to Piers Morgan Uncensored. Debate about the conflict in Israel is intractable. For Israel and its supporters, this is about an existential threat brutally symbolized by the savagery of the Hamas attacks on October the 7th. For Palestine and its supporters, this is about oppression spanning many decades. Israel has a unique duty to its people after centuries of pogroms, displacements and a holocaust. It must provide a safe place for Jewish people to live without fear of being murdered for their faith. But that safe place has taken the place of the Palestinians and too often has come at the cost of their dignity, rights and their lives. Now, clearly, we're not going to find peace in the Middle East tonight. But we are going to do something that doesn't happen very often. We're bringing together two very opinionated, passionate, influential people, with very opposing views, and we're going to have a proper debate. And we're going to see if somewhere there is perhaps more that we can agree on than we first imagined. So thank you for joining me, gentlemen. We tossed a coin before we came on air tonight. And uh, actually, you won the, the, the toss. Um, and you said you want to go second. I so, defer to my, my brother. And the way this will work, uh, Mohammed, we have four sections of this debate. And at the start of each one, you'll both get one minute uninterrupted to say what you want to say about each of the themed uh, titles of each block. So you go first. And at the end of your minute, you'll hear a sound. And when you hear that, uh, you end, and then a Rabbi Shmuley gets his chance to speak. So the first theme is a simple one. Are Hamas to blame? You have a minute, Mohammed, from now. From one perspective, Hamas started the battle because uh, obviously from October 7th, even they themselves title it Tawfan al-Aqsa or the flooding of al-Aqsa. But from another perspective, if you really look at it from an international law perspective, we're talking about 1967, we're talking about a resolution, security resolution 242, in which it is actually stated that um, Israel is in a belligerent state because they're occupying the West Bank, East Jerusalem and Gaza. And they have been, so therefore the war has been continual for a very long time according to international law. But let's remove Hamas from the situation altogether. Let's remove them. What do you have? You have the West Bank. And what do you have in the West Bank? You have 187 children who have been put in prisons. They have been put in prisons, according to Beth Salem, without charge. You have 44 children before October the 7th that have been killed before October the 7th, in just 2023 alone. So if you remove Hamas from the equation, what you have, you have the West Bank. You, you remove dominance from the equation, you have the West Bank, and what you have, you have occupation, you have settlement, which you condemned, rightfully so. You condemned that on your show, the settlement's there. Okay. Rabbi Shmuley, one minute to respond. Resolution 242 in the UN doesn't mention a single thing about aggre aggression or aggressor. That is a total fabrication, and it speaks about disputed territories. But let's be clear, the occupier of Gaza is Hamas. They won an election in 2006, had a civil war with Mahmoud Abbas, took the Palestinian Authority officials, threw them off buildings, killed Muslims, killed Arabs. Mahmoud Abbas is afraid to go to Gaza. He's terrified of Hamas. He hasn't been there since 2007. And let's be clear, Hamas is an abomination to Islam. Sultan Salah al-Adin, the greatest Muslim conqueror of all time, after whom the main artery in, in Gaza is named, he said that you have to allow all prisoners to be redeemed. He would never hold hostages. This is, and remember, the Islam is about fair treatment of prisoners of war. Hamas beheaded Thai non-Jewish workers. You asked in your last Appearance here for real uh, first-hand sources. I'm the first-hand source. I saw it in Kibbutz Alumim. They raped women. They had sex with dead women's okay. bodies. They are evil and time's do up, the okay. right thing and up, call them up, evil. Up, All right, up. we've had a minute each. Okay, we've got a, a passionate start. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that whoever builds a mosque for Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. And we know the great reward that will not only be gained, but rather will fill your grave after your death. Whenever someone prays there, whenever someone gives shahada in the masjid, whenever someone learns something in the masjid, 
yes, that will be something that you'll have on your scale.